good morning or good evening to everyone welcome to computer basic tutorials so today I'm going to show you about the computer system so this is the path 5 of our computer basic tutorials so the computer system consists of the following four major components but one is a hardware and next is a software and next is a data and next is a user so these are considered to be a, a very uh, can say important computer system components uh, that is hardware software data and user so this this is this this is very much mandatory for a computer so let's see what is in hardware what is a software what is a data and what is a user okay what is a hardware uh, hardware is nothing but it's a collection of several parts that is not and that is not a single piece all these parts work together in a smooth cooperation with one another to achieve the user define a job so you have many as uh, uh, you have various different systems right uh, you can say a system like uh, radio is a one device and uh, uh, printer speakers mobiles and everything so how are they made they are made of with uh, all the different hardware components in the same way computer system is also made with the hardware components so all these parts the, it collects all the different hardware components and combine together to form a computer so we have, i will be discussing in your separate tutorials what are the different components that we have on a computer system so to give a brief idea it will have all the components like uh, a processor motherboard ram uh, hard disk cd or dvd rom okay smps monitor ups so all this everything comes into the picture when we talk about the hardware okay all these parts are referred as a peripherals too collectively <coughs> sorry collectively all the peripherals are called to as the hardware examples you can see here input devices output devices primary storage devices and secondary storage devices cpu etc all these are considered to be as an hard, uh, hardware so we're going to be talking about the input devices so mouse is an input device keyboard is an input device right output devices monitor is an output device primary storage is like ram so where you can st store some buffer area secondary storage hardware uh, that is hard disk or you can see an external devices and you can have a pen drives then the cpu it's a central processing unit where actual da data processing comes into the picture you take the receive the data process the data and give back the results onto the monitor now let's talk about the software software is a set of instructions programs that tell the computer to perform some task and it should be it should do that particular task program is a so now what is a program so we hear a lot of something like software programs and everything right so the first point was explaining about the what is a software right software is a set of instruction that uh, tells the computer to perform some task and it should do that particular task what is a program you might be hearing about the program 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 what is actually a program program is nothing but it's a set of instruction written in computer understandable language so if the program is writing some program so that should be understandable by the computer right set of program and document collectively call it as a software so someone is writing a some some developing in a program it should be understandable by the computer and all collectively together called as a software so hardware cannot do any task on its own it needs to be instructed about the task whereas software instruct the computer about the task that to be performed so example operating system so like windows operating system android operating system apple operating system right utilities user interface browser game application etc these are all considered to be as in a software now let's talk about the data uh, data means values it is provided to the computer as an input which is processed to generate some meaningful information so again uh, data means some values <coughs> whatever you the data you type from the keyboard or you click something from the mouse that is considered to be as a data 
that's the reason we say data means values it is provided to the computer as an input which is processed to generate some meaningful information suppose if you are uh, connected to the internet and you are typing your good you're typing www.google.com and you're trying to enter some text that means you're trying to insert the data computer is receiving the data processing and giving you back the results that is called as a data <coughs> that was for an example so there will be various information that you need to access <coughs> Sorry. users users are people who write computer programs and interact with the computers right so we are the users who writes what we do we generally make use of computers so since you are accessing the computer that means like you became the user you can write an application you can read an applications and you can do many tasks if you can if you want to play games on the computer you can play if you want to write a documents on a computer you can do it right so these are the basic uh, computer system uh, you can see you will be coming across while learning this computer so this is the these are the things which we would <coughs> which we need to understand in the beginning stage of learning basics hardware software data and the user thank you so much for watching this video have a great and pleasurable day or evening i will be coming up with more and more topics on computer basics so stay tuned to computer basics